For full episodes of the Diverse Mentality Podcast, check the links in the description below. The full video version is available on the main channel, and the audio version is available on your favorite streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. Um, Dr. Dre, man, finally back home. Good shit, good shit. Finally doctor. back home, yeah. Doctor I'm, is back. I'm happy he's home. He took a photo in the studio with the DOC and a bunch of producers, and one of the producers there in the caption hashtagged detox 21 but deleted it he put it up and then once people started noticing and started having this talk he took that shit off i mean he he don't need to be how long he's been saying he's gonna release his detox 2004 or 5 was the first time i heard it somewhere don't around. fucking tease me, <laughs> tease me no the producer me not dr yeah, dre the I mean, producer did that don't even bring it up goddamn i think I see it come out yeah the, the thing is too dr dre said he's when he dropped the Compton album for his yeah. for the NWA movie, whatever, he said he did detox is scrapped. He's not working on it. Oh, oh, he did. That's what he said. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's scrapped or not. I don't know if Dr. Dre was like, man, fuck it. We're going to go back in the studio and work on it. But that album has probably 10,000 songs to it. Now. Oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. And I don't understand the point of that. You've got all this music you're just sitting on. Like, yeah. why, what does that do? No, everybody that works with Dr. Dre gets pissed off at him for that. Everybody. Because he doesn't release it. Yeah, music. it's he like, what the fuck? It. What are you, what like, are you sitting on? Yeah, what's the point of at that? At least give it to me. Let me put it out as a mixtape or something. Yeah, a lot of rappers end up either stealing the track and just releasing it themselves on like a free bootleg mixtape. Or they find a way to restructure the track so De Dre just lets it go. You know what's yeah. crazy? I read, I was reading right now of how Game and 50 made How We Do. They were talking about it and how Dre had the beat and was like holding it and not letting it go. Game was like, man, this shit's... Game had to sneak in Dr. Dre's studio mm. to get that How We how we Do beat to record over while Dr. Dre was doing a business meeting just to get that beat because Dr. Dre wasn't letting it. It was just... Wow. Like, how are you going to... You just fucked Damn. up. That's what I'm saying. But is Dre, did, was Dre mad at him for that, though? Because you essentially no, no. just stole from me. No, no. What happened, though, this is Game saved himself because he when he spit on the How We Beat, he spit on it consistently for, like, no hook, no nothing. Yeah. Game, uh, Dre loved the bars. So like, damn, this shit's hot, but we need a, we need a hook, we need something. Yeah. And that's when Fifty obviously okay. came into it and you know did his part. But that's what I mean. Doctor Dre has yeah, the beats crazy. just sitting there. We're not letting any artists use them. Yeah, that's crazy. You have to go in there and steal them, prove that it's a good ass beat and you can rap <laughs> just for it to come out. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Dre, ugh, I think he's just scared, man. I think he's scared to live up to that. Yeah, you, know, you think you that's think so? what it is. You don't think he can yeah. uh, do the same? How did Compton do? Compton was. Uh, it was mixed reviews. Yeah, I only listened to like one time. Nothing really s yeah. stood out to me. But it was the the, the reason why he released that because he could pass it off as a soundtrack for like the movie and be like, ah, if people don't like it. Yeah, it's like, you know, yeah. It's just a soundtrack. Mm -hmm. you know? That's why he did it that way. Yeah, he wanted to test the market out. Honestly, in 2010 when he dropped the Kush record with Akon and Soup, I really fuck with that record. Hold up, wait a minute, let me drop some Kush up in it. That B two, Akon. 2010, I was locked up, so I, I probably you don't know that record. Too. Oh, man, that record's fire. I like that record. When I heard him drop that, I was like, okay, Dre is on his shit. The beat was hard. Everything was dope. If I if I heard it, I probably have heard it, but it's just not clicking to me right now. Yeah, you, you've heard it, I'm sure. Uh, Tighter Than the Pants on Will I Am, Snoop Dogg's. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, you've yeah. probably heard that record. Yeah, I'm I, sure, I remember yeah. that bar right there. But that's that's what I'm saying. That Dre is scared to live up to that Chronic, Chronic 2001. Those are hard-ass albums. Those, those are timeless those are classics. albums, yeah. Those are classics. So I don't blame Dre for that, but you have to... Just do it through other artists. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if other artists, you can just blame it on artists. Be like, this shit flopped because of you, not because of me. <laughs> That's what I would do, but shit. Just do it, man. You're already up. You're damn near a billionaire. Who gives a fuck? I know, yeah. Who gives a fuck, man? Just who cares, man? People say it's ass. Put it out. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Because the longer you wait, the more ass is going to become. The more it's dated. The more the bar is set up, too. Yeah. The longer you wait, the more the bar goes up. Now, That's, now people are like, I waited 15 years for this shit? Exactly. When man. you could have dropped it 10 years ago, it's like, oh, five years ain't that yep. too bad. I ain't wait too long for it. I remember an Encore, uh, Dre, Dre and Eminem and 50 were on one track, Encore, the track, that title track. And in the background, and was like, Detox coming 2006, we're going to make Dre do it. And that shit, <laughs> that shit never came out. Dre was over there like, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm already rich as fuck. I don't need this. Y'all doing all the work right now. <laughs> God damn, bro. And, and that goes also say that Kendrick better come with it when he drops. I don't want to handle bullshit, Kendrick. Yeah, that's, it's been long, man. It's I been four years. You better years. come with it, bro. Yeah, it's about to be four years, man. So.